All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me, we're the same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. My brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon.
I'm in position, Peggy. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Thing. I got a bad Defend the prisoner! Defend the prisoner! Cargo, Nico. Call an ambulance. I'm hit. Move. Check the cops, Nico. Officer. We gotta lose this heat before we can send this fucker where he's going. All right, I'll try to lose this fucking car. Packy, the cops will be looking for it. Okay, there's a car. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. All right, Nico. Now that we lost him, we gotta go out to the cliffs in Leftwood. The cliffs of Leftwood, then. 
Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, Finn. Thank you. Ouch come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless. So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. <laughs>